I honestly don't know what's more pathetic. The fact that my life now revolves around making videos laughing at the ongoings of cryptocurrency or the fact that I can do that twice a day, every single day, and still not run out of content. But here we go. You guys remember Ben Eth, this dude. Uh, he launched a token called Ben Token, and then of course said, oh, this is going to be my good life's work. I'm going to be doing the Ben Token all day, every day. And then about four days later, he sold out the token essentially and gave it to BitBoy Crypto. BitBoy Crypto being somebody who is just like a comedy character. He's, he's kind of like a clown in the cryptocurrency world. He just exists there for everyone to laugh at. But somehow he has over a million followers on multiple social medias. He's currently embroiled in some lawsuits. He's doing very, very stupid things in those lawsuits. He also is someone that threatens people with lawsuits himself quite often if they laugh at him or, you know, say that he's done X, Y, or Z, even if he has done X, Y, and or Z. Then, of course, there's this tweet thread where he's talking about Ben, because everyone loves a good Ben token. It's not sp sponsored by stake.com, but what if, never mind, I've said too much. And then somebody responds and a, a woman responds and says, uh, I can't wait for you to get sued. And he says, why don't you do it? Also, you are ugly. To which she takes a picture of it, tweets it out and says, wait, I'm ugly. And a bunch of emojis. And BitBoy, of course, comes back strong as he does. Ben Armstrong, Ben abuse women on the internet strong. He says, yes, I'm not trying to be mean. It's just kind of fact. And I'm sorry you have to go through life like this. You see... You haven't seen my penis, uh, but I have seen your face. So you are just lashing out. Uh, I just said out loud what the seven people who have ever noticed you were thinking. So just in general, a uh, bit of a dickhead. Yeah, bit boy crypto, bit of a dickhead. But he's now the proud owner of Ben Eth. I haven't been following it other than people alleging uh, with, on on with on chain, of course, which you can track everything on, on cryptocurrency on blockchain. He said he wouldn't be selling his tokens for at least six months. And then like four days after getting access, he sold a whole bunch of tokens and then immediately transferred them to stake.com, which if you don't know, stake.com is a gambling website for cryptocurrency. But then he says here what the deal was for, apparently 1,000 ETH and $250,000 to be paid in stablecoin over six months. And then he said he had a backer that's taking longer to move funds around and he wants a deal by fr Friday. So we had to move some funds. But that obviously doesn't explain why he sold it and then transferred the money that he made from selling it into stake. I'm obviously just going on what people have reported that's on chain. I can't confirm any of this. I've not looked at the transactions myself, nor has he actually denied that this has happened as far as I can tell. But either way, that's a long, long story to get to what we're about to talk to here. Basically, somebody, this Mike Kanovitz person on Twitter, has apparently contracted a law firm or it is his law firm or or whatever he's saying my law firm uh louvi and louvi Lo lovi I, I don't know how to pronounce that will be filing a class action against you in your irl name uh, if you do not refund all of the psyop pre-sale purchases immediately our settlement demand letter has served as an nft to your beneth address viewable here and he's also attached now what he means here is essentially you can send anybody you want an NFT if you have their ETH address, right? So what he's done is on-chain served him, which is just a fancy way of saying when you serve somebody any legal paperwork, you have to know that they've got it. Uh, usually what will happen if you're serving somebody and you don't know their real name, in a non-clown world, you'll basically say in that letter, uh, if you don't give us your real life name or whatever, then we will obviously petition the court to allow us to serve you officially if it does move forward to a lawsuit uh, in this capacity, basically over email, using a username if they don't know your real name, uh, not your address, of course, like an email address, serve you electronically, things like that, at least if it's similar to the UK. But they've done this on chain, so they've sent him an NFT of this, and this has got to be, uh, if this is a real law firm, which I did Google and it does lo look like it is, these people are probably going to get in trouble for doing this because this is the most pathetically ridiculous. I wouldn't give somebody $5 for this type of legal representation uh, I've ever seen in my entire life. So it reads, to Ben F, this is a settlement demand 
on behalf of all purchasers of your token presale. It is your last chance before my law firm files a class action. Let me just check, see if this guy is actually a lawyer. He, so he is, he is the lawyer. This is, this is the person. So he's wrote this himself on behalf of his own law firm. Your way out of being sued is simple and fair. Send back the eth that you received following your presale announcement. A refund is the stand-up thing to do. You've made promises and failed to live up to them. Anyone who has ever been in business knows that if you fuck up on delivering what you promised, the customer gets a refund. And to be clear, the term fuck up is overly generous to you. There is every reason for a jury to find that you intentionally misled the buyers, having made and reneged on serial promises and used a manipulative launch strategy with the way you structured the liquidity pools and trickled out the tokens. At a minimum, you would be guilty of wire fraud, which is a uh, predicate act for racketeering and the basis for a treble damages award against you. 7 million becomes 21 million. So just send back the F, the matter will be over, and you and your victims can all go on with their lives. But if you insist on fucking over thousands of people, my law firm will step up to right that injustice. Here is what that looks like. We will file suit in the United States District Court for the District of Arizona. That court sits in Phoenix, where there is jurisdiction and venue over you. The suit will name you personally as well as your alias and will be served at your home. We will also subpoena your communications. That evidence will put the final nails in your coffin and also reveal the IRL identities of your co-conspirators. We'll then name as additional defendants in your case. The process will be painful for you and those who acted with you. You are engaging in real fraud and it is hurting people. There will be con consequences if you don't make it right. Sincerely, Mike Canovitz. Now, I don't know if anybody here uh, has ever, if you've been on my channel for a long time, you've obviously seen me go over legal documents, which can also include letters of claim, pre-litigation letters, pretty much anything that comes from a law firm or a lawyer generally will be written in legalese because it's for a lawyer to write for a lawyer to lo look over because that's who's going to be dealing with things if things go to court. This is just written as if somebody's gone online and, and sent somebody a, an angry threat. I don't know in what world this person who is apparently a lawyer uh, has written this. It's not even been proofread. Uh, there's spelling errors in it and everything. And he served this to somebody's, somebody's Ethereum address. It's incredibly unprofessional. It looks ridiculous. And I don't know if he's involved. I don't know if he's sent money to this. And that's why, because he's upset he's lost his money. Because this PSYOP thing is, it looks like a scam. Uh, it smells like a scam. And if it isn't a scam, it's basically been done in such a bad way that it's almost identical to one. Just in the way that it's, it's a fucking complete mess. It's even hard to follow with how much of a mess it is. So obviously I've got no sympathy for the person this has been sent to. But if you're going to threaten somebody with a class action lawsuit, this is not the way to do it. But then, of course, Ben Eth replied because this guy is essentially just running a meme account uh, with cryptocurrency attached, trying to get people to buy into this dog shit uh, that is essentially a PSYOP in and of itself. And he says, my law firm, PSYOP Legal, will be filing a count suit against you in your IRL name, as well as your Metaverse and ENS ones if you do not attract your lawsuit against the wonderful men and women working on PSYOP. Our settlement demand letter has been served to you as an NFT to your address, and he's also attached, you'll be hearing from our lawyers and seeing the Tate brothers soon. So he's just shitposting, basically. And then obviously he's just written this himself, uh, and he's just a clown. The fact that people in cryptocurrency think the law is such a fucking joke that you can just do this back and forth while selling funny money but like I, I don't know how else to describe it while selling stupidity to the masses of stupid is just kind of insane because i don't know if this ben S dude understands that he's playing with tens of millions potentially hundreds of millions of dollars by the time of this is this is done of other people's real money and while maybe he's enriching himself and having a good time while he's doing it and getting famous on the internet I don't think he understands that there are real life ramifications for this, or maybe he just doesn't care. I don't know if he's somebody who's just grown up perpetually terminally online that thinks everything's just this big old funny joke and nothing's ever going to happen to him. But if this keeps going how it has been going, with it being as public as it is and it looking as much of a fucking fraud as it does with how he's managed it or lack of managing, I guess, there's a very distinct real possibility that he does need to get legal representation because he could end up in an actual criminal court for what he's done. I sincerely don't think people understand 
but this whole situation is just so it's just pure clown world i don't even know how to describe it it, it would it's basically past being funny to just being like i, I just sit there and, and can't believe what i'm what i'm reading and what i'm seeing and apparently this other dude is an actual lawyer and there's even lawyers in the comments going through and being like this is not how you do this as an irl attorney this is not proper service of process somebody else responds who is also a legal representative a lawyer says this is a demand letter you can send them however you want and then of course there's other lawyers coming in and just saying it's embarrassing this is not following process like this is just awful advertising for your law firm this just looks terrible it reflects worse on you as the law firm sending this and making this public but there we go i'll keep following along with this because it's just so fucking dumb it's just so so stupid but that's cryptocurrency baby uh, i'll see you next time peace out